So tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Poet Stewart Jr. I am 19 years old, Southern University graduate of fall 2012. I'm graduated in physics and pretty much just now working in working for grad school. So you you graduated at 19. What was it like? You uh, understand you came to Southern when you were 14. Tell me a little bit about that. It was an interesting experience. I really did enjoy it because many of the people were actually supportive of me coming here at that age and the background, the African American experience that I received and also the tutelage that I received from my professors was really helpful and endearing. Um, four years of, of, uh, of intense um, uh, classroom work and what was it like? You're 14, 15, 16 year old, years old, everybody else is either 20 or uh, older than 20. What was that like? Many of the students did not actually know my age. And for the ones who did, they really didn't pose too much of a problem. They were actually very helpful. Because when you get into a class that actually has rigorous classwork, then the only focus is really getting the work done. So everyone works together to try and make sure that we get the best possible result. How are your professors dealing with you and your age? They made sure to actually stress that I work harder because they wanted to make sure that I knew the information before I left the class. Um, what about socially on campus, being so much younger than everybody else? How, did, how was that treatment at Southern? You could say it took a year or two to really adapt and get into all of the different groups and programs that were possible. I know when I first came here, I really didn't explore that many things. I was really focused on just staying in the books and over time, even though to a certain degree I put academics, I still kept it at a high point, but I made sure to also go ahead and expose myself to other things such as the SGA, um, the physics club, go ahead and expose myself to founding other clubs and also going to things like um, the NAACP meetings and so on and so on. Okay. I understand you even uh, did some photography for the Digest newspaper. Yes, sir, I did. I worked with the Southern Digest for a year and it was actually very enjoyable. You pick up any other ha any other uh, uh, thing that you'd like to do around the campus while you were here? Volunteering um, with the SGA. At the same time, of course, the photography, um, martial arts. I founded the SUMAC Club, Southern University Martial Arts Club here. Also, I worked with um, the Southern University Physics Society and also worked with the Timbuktu Academy. Tell me about that, the Timbuktu Academy. I understand you were part of, you had experience with that before you even got on our, on our campus. Yes, sir. I actually started in CETA, which was back when I was 10 years old, for the rising ninth grade program, Summer Enrichment at the Timbuktu Academy. And that was where I met Dr. Jola Bagaoko. And from there all the way up until I got into the physics program and all the way through my, my matriculation, Dr. Bagaoko was my mentor. And how uh, did he influence you once you landed here on campus at 14? He definitely helped to Help, it helped me to get a strong work ethic. Because when I first started with the CETA program, my work ethic was pretty good, but of course it desired improvement because I needed to be able to handle all of the college work that would come from the physics program. So at that point, Dr. Bagoko actually helped to set me up with other mentors as well as himself, and we went over things like the power law of human performance and being able to actually sit there and manage my time better and go ahead and get my homework done before I went on to something else. So what are what other experiences do you have at Southern? I understand that you went uh, to a whole bunch of places to do uh, to do presentations and to study. Well, through Southern University and the Timbuktu Academy, their funding actually allowed me to travel to places like Texas Christian University, North Carolina State University, to travel all the way to even Italy to actually listen to a materials a renewable energies seminar. So I was given a bunch of opportunities thanks to Southern. So looking back, what was that experience like? It was amazing, honestly, because I really wouldn't have thought that I'd be able to travel to such places at my age. And being able to go to these different countries and these different universities, these different states, and see the variety of people, the variety of education, and the variety of scientific research that they were doing was astounding. But did, it, did you surprise them when, they, when they, you would show up at 16, 17 years old? 
I'm pretty sure I did surprise my professors, especially especially Dr. Zerda with Texas Christian University, and then also probably my professor at North Carolina State University, because the idea of a 16-year-old or an 18-year-old working in a clean room or working in a radiation lab is probably unheard of. So what are your what are your plans now? You you marched at um, uh, in December of 2012. So what are you do, what are your plans now? What are you doing now? At the moment, I'm actually tutoring and studying for not only to prepare for the physics GRE, but also looking into other opportunities. At the moment, I actually have a possibility at Berkeley that I'm working on, which it seems as if the post back that I want to do there is actually going to go through. So in that case, that'll be what I'll be doing for the next year. If not, then at the same time, I also have some offers to go to grad school, such as North Carolina State University, in the event that I don't go there. Mm -hmm. um, what would you be doing at, at Cal Berkeley? Well, I would actually be at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, and I would be working with the ALS, which is the Advanced Light Source. I plan on working with the X-ray synchrotron and small angle X-ray scattering, which is where we would feed and x-ray beam, a beam of um, radiated light into a sample and we would bounce it off the electrons present in the molecules. This would cause a reaction that would then show the size and shape of the particle based off of the waves and peaks that we would see in the graphs. And when you go to North Carolina State, that would be for your master's degree? Yes, sir. And what would you get a master's degree in? The plan right now would be mechanical engineering slash mechatronics. And then after I left from there, I would go on to get a um, PhD in nanoscience and nanostructures. So would you recommend Southern University to anyone else? Yes, I would, especially the physics program and the engineering program, even though I wasn't a part of the engineering program from having gone there and seen their students always working, it was definitely an interesting experience. But I would recommend this university to anyone because of the fact that we're definitely, even though we probably aren't the highest stat school in academics, at the same time, we also have the background, we have the teachers and we have the professors who are willing to push you to the next level. And we have a very good support system here. Honestly, what I see is that many times students don't take advantage of the support systems that we had available. Because here at Southern, there are many things for you to get into, whether it be the SGA, whether it be the Timbuktu Academy, whether it be going to the foundation and helping out there, there are many different opportunities for the students here and I would, I would encourage any student to come here.